Some time ago I had this idea of making an, a lever action ER call it lathe chuck. There's a nut, obviously goes over this but it's not in the design just at the moment. Um, and the idea is that in the back, if I just turn some things off, we've got a stack of Belleville washers here. Belleville washers, Belleville washers, whatever you call them. Um, and then you've got a plunger, which has got the taper in for the ER collet. And there's a lock ring in behind. So when you um, tighten the nut down, that will lock the bar in place. But you can then actuate these um, bars sticking out the side there, which will pull the um, inner sleeve down against the force of the Belleville washers, uh, releasing the releasing the part in your collet. So I 3D printed the whole lot to try it out. It essentially worked, but the inner part, this part here, uh, kept breaking. I now need to make this part out of metal to really prove it um, before I make the rest of it out of metal. Um, it's a lot more metal to cut. Uh, so let's let's make that. As I'm recording this video, I'm just a couple of subscribers away from 2,000, which is pretty incredible for me. Um, I'm amazed that so many people uh, enjoy my content, and it's been really encouraging over the past couple of months. I haven't been able to put out any videos. I've just been otherwise too busy, um, but I've had loads of subscribers, so that's really, really great. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this one. Thanks. So to cut the eight degree taper uh, for the ER collets in here, I've set the compound over to eight degrees using the scale on here. But to tune it in to be accurate, I've used an online triangle calculator to tell me that over 25 millimeters of travel, um, I need to look for about 3.48 millimeters of displacement. So using my dial indicator on right angles to the part, by traversing the compound slide at at the eight degree angle, I should see 3.48 millimeters of displacement if I'm anywhere close um, or something like it. So let's just zero that out. Yep. Right, after much fiddling about, I think we're basically there. Is that it? Not quite. That's it. That's exactly 25, or just a shade under 348. That'll have to do. Just switch to this TPAN style boring tool. Uh, it's got a slightly larger nose radius, and I'm getting a a better surface finish on the inside so I'm just going to do the last couple of passes with this one. Well so it's not perfect that is pretty damn smooth I'm very pleased with that. Now that doesn't go in very far but that is about right based on my um, 3D print prototype should go in about that far, probably about a millimeter. Um, but we'll try that first.
Right, so here it is. This is the prototype. Um, obviously, it's not exactly um, fully um, testable yet because I haven't put any holes in this flange to bolt it to my lathe, but it's just going to demonstrate how it's going to work. Putting in a, a bar. Right, I'm going to clamp that up nice and tight so that you can do turning operations on it. And then on the lathe there will be some form of lever which I'm going to emulate with these um, bars here. If I use my vice just as the fulcrum you can see that So in order to make it a comfortable amount of force to apply uh, to the the tool to release the, the action, I need at least a foot. I think probably more like forty centimeters makes it a whole. You know, a, another that's another thirty percent makes it a bit easier. Um, so it's going to need a reasonably long handle um, and a fairly st um, stout mounting uh, for the uh, the pivot of the um, the handle back here to stop it bending. Um, probably not every lathe is ideal for this because um, that's, a, that's a fair bit of force. Um, but I think um, the sort of type of lathe I've got with taper roller bearings front and back um, shouldn't be an issue. They're capable of a lot of load. So I'm very pleased with that. That has proved my thought. Now, as you saw, there was some 3D prints. I had tried to test this out with 3d prints but they just snap pretty much straight away you know you get one go and um, that's it so having now proved to myself that that works uh, I'd like to know your thoughts is this a good idea why has nobody done this before um, and is there a better way um, so yeah tell me what you think and whether there's anything I should do to make this better if there's a better spring to use so as you saw I'm currently using um, Belleville washers, I'm using a stack of three just to get the um, throw um, in in the stack. And that gives me about a millimetre and a half to two millimetres of, of displacement. There are a lot of force, these, but then that's good. I want a lot of force on the collet to keep the thing clamped. Um, but is there a better solution? Um, I mean, I, I kind of went for these because I'd never used them before and I just wanted to see how well they worked really um, and I had this idea of doing a collet chuck and I thought oh that's a nice compact way of applying the spring force and you know decided to build it into the back there that's more than enough wittering from me um, I thought I'd better mount it up so I can get a thumbnail shot I um, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again next time thanks for watching